Hello and welcome, my name is Harry and in today's video we're going to look at Fallout 4 fixes, common problems and issues, most common one being the high FPS problem. I'll also show you how to fix that with and without mods and then add some mods at the end that help enhance the overall vanilla gameplay, keeping it close to the original without breaking the game and I've got a special surprise for you at the end so stick around and watch that. Let's get right into it. The most common problem you'll see when replaying this game or playing it for the first time is that the game is basically in fast forward and that's because Bethesda tied the physics engine to the frame rate of the game as it wasn't really meant to be played above 60 or 120 fps. But let's go ahead and fix that first. Let's back up any save files we have for the game just in case anything does go wrong so you don't lose any progress. If you are on a Nvidia GPU you can just go to Nvidia's control panel Go find Fallout 4 in the program settings. You can just set the frame rate to 120, 60 to be safer, but the game will still function properly when you set it to 120. That's one of the easier ways to fix it. The next way, you can just go into some preference settings. If you are an NVIDIA user and you just completed the previous step, I also recommend that you do do this. And if you're an AMD user or you're trying to run the game on an iGPU, you can follow these steps instead. The correct Fallout 4 preference in e is inside your documents. Go to My Games and find it there. Do not use the one in your Steam root folder. It will not work. It should look like this. Right click it and open with Notepad or a text editor. Scroll down a little bit and find these settings. If you're not going to use any mods, just turn I preset interval to 1, it puts VSync on. If you're having issues with the game launching in the background behind all your windows, you can also turn on topmost window 1, and that also fixes the alt tab flickering. Just hit file save when you're done, and then make sure to right click, go to properties on Fallout 4 preference, and click it as read only to force the game to read the any file every time it launches. If you follow the steps correctly, your game will now launch and be a stable 60 or 120 FPS and the high FPS problem will be gone. In the next step, I'll show you how to fix it using a mod, which also enhances the game. And there are also some really cool quality of life changes that help fix some problems you might not even know about. Or if there's something that is bothering you in the game, go check out the mod list coming up next. Let's get right into it. Follow the first link in the description and you'll have to make a Nexus Mods account. It only takes a minute or two and it is free or you can download any mods. Next you're going to copy the second link, paste it into your browser and you're going to go and download Vortex Mod Manager. We need this to manage all the mods on the desktop for the game. Cool, then you can open up Vortex and go to settings. Then you're going to want to point it to the folder where your mods will be. Please note it can't be inside the same folder as Fallout 4. You can just hit suggest and then hit apply then for this red section down here once you have a mod or two available then you can just choose a deploy method just the first option will work fine and then you can go click on games and then you can go to search fallout 4 and then just add it all right then you're going to copy and paste the third link in the description it'll just take you to nexus mods to get to the fallout 4 script extender and then go ahead and download the script extender and then if you have vortex installed then you can just click on download with mod manager and then it'll ask you to open up vortex all right take your script extender download and extract the files and copy them into your steam root folder where your fallout4.exe is located next up click on the fourth link in the description and it'll take you to the address library go ahead and download this one all right now we got to the actual mod that you might have been waiting for that fixes the high fps problem the features are pretty cool it doesn't just fix the high fps it fixes some other stuff as well so same thing again let's download this one all right stick with me here we're gonna have to go into another preference any and adjust this mod's settings all right let's go ahead and change the any file and make sure everything is running correctly so we don't have to do it later just follow this and you can find it here the first thing you're going to want to do is disable vsync just make sure it is off so it doesn't lock the frame rate then you can go down and enable disable black loading screen this will basically just take out all the black loading screens in the game and will make the startup much faster then you're going to want to enable the disable animation load screens this basically just takes out the small animation screens and makes the game load even faster then go down to display and you're gonna want to enable full screen if that's how you're gonna be playing then if you go down a little bit more you'll check your resolution options 
I just basically took this out. But if you want to, you can change the resolution here. If you're playing at full HD, you're gonna wanna put it on one. Otherwise, it's only running at 75%. All right, now that the game is actually working and fixed, thanks Bethesda. All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. Let's actually get to the good mods that make the game a little bit more fun to play. Number six in the description list. Did you ever play the game and get really annoyed when your followers or your companions walk away and you try and give them something or talk to them? You're over encumbered and can't walk, but they keep walking away. This fixes it. I'm not sure it fixes it for dog meat, but this will still help a lot. Number seven on the list. If you ever walked in front of something and the camera starts clipping, or the camera eats away at the environment in front of you. That's an issue with the camera render distance not being close enough to the actor's face, and this fixes it. This is the mod configuration menu, and it's used to change any settings about any mods inside the game's menu, and it's essential for modding. Number eight on the description list, we have high quality Pip-Boy maps. I recommend using the 2K version and not the 4K version, because that is way too small. And if you've ever noticed that the map feels a little bit too um, defined and small, this helps fix it. You can either choose between buildings or not buildings. Number 9 on the list is an essential one for any new Vegas fans and any newcomers to Fallout and even people replaying it. This fixes the dialogue system that Bethesda thought is a good idea just to put a few options and you have no idea what you're going to say next. And this gives you a fully fleshed out dialogue system so you can see what you're actually going to say next. Next up we have realistic conversations while we're talking about dialogue. This helps fix the fact that NPCs can engage in dialogue with you when you're really far away and it also helps fix some small timings, triggers, just a few small things to help the overall world of Fallout 4 feel a little bit more realistic when it comes to NPC conversations. At number 10 on the list we have Active Quest HUD. Have you ever gotten annoyed the fact that you need to take out your Pip-Boy, check your quest? This fixes that you need to take out your Pip-Boy every 5 seconds to figure out what you need to do next. Second to last on the list we have Where Are You Now? Have you ever played the game and wondered where the hell are my companions? I just dismissed someone and I have no idea where they are anymore. This helps fix that. It adds a quest log in your Pip-Boy where you can track the companions that you have actively recruited. Please note that some of them need to be assigned to a settlement, otherwise it doesn't always work properly. Last up on the list we have classic holstered weapon system inspired by New Vegas's holstered weapons. This is for any of you that got really annoyed in the past playing the game or you're playing it for the first time. Trust me you don't want to see your weapon waved in everyone's face every five seconds and think why can't I put this away. This solves that problem. All right, we are almost done. I promise, just a few small important things that you can't miss. Achievements are still not activated. Where you launch the game from matters a lot, so you should launch it from Vortex or from the Fallout 4 script extender. Do not try and launch the game from Steam. It will still be in fast forward mode and the mods won't be active. Go to the last link in the description and then manually download these two files. Do not download them through Vortex. Okay, this part was doing my head in, so just follow carefully along. Go into the first extracted folder. Go into data. Do the same in your Fallout 4 folder. Go into the first one. Plugins, the same here. Copy over the DLL. Okay, go back. Okay, then go one more back. Copy over this plugins folder. Or you can copy the inside of it if you want to. Then we're gonna go to the other folder we downloaded. Copy over the DLL, so that should ne be next to your fallout4.exe. Then we're gonna go into the data folder, into plugins again. And then copy over the DLL loader. Alright, for those of you who were patient enough, I've got a nice little bonus for you over here. This is the fallout4map.com. This is pretty cool, you can check out collectibles, any tools, any loot, any locations. All of it's right here, it's got Far Harbor, Nuka World, and Fallout London, which is a work in progress right now, but this is essential for anyone playing the game again or for the first time and it's going to help your playthrough a lot. That should do it for this video. I tried to keep the game vanilla as possible and only enhance and change quality of life. You are welcome to put in other mods but please don't ask me to help you fix it. The reason why I don't have a lot of mods is because if you just read some of the posts on Nexus mods inside the mods, 
you'll find that a lot of people are complaining, things are breaking, and you have no idea which mod broke and what is making the game not work properly. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. Please tell me if you have any errors related to these mods from watching the video in the comment section. And I hope you have a good time. Also, the Fallout 4 series on Prime Video is very good. Go watch it if you haven't already. And if you have watched it, then you probably know that Season 2 is coming out in December. The premiere date is December 17th, 2025. There will be 8 episodes with a weekly release schedule. The finale is expected to air on February 4th, 2026. Alright, thanks for watching.